Rockstar Games just gave us what I think is another teaser for Grand Theft Auto 6. It actually came on a Newswire post they put out the other day. We briefly touched on it, but throughout the day, Rockstar officially confirmed it and gave us some more information, and that is a Grand Theft Auto radio station on Spotify. So on their Newswire, they said this, Check out Grand Theft Auto Radio, a brand new playlist curated just for you, revealing hidden gems and classics from your favorite songs and artists from across every station in the Grand Theft Auto series based on your Spotify listening preferences. Grand Theft Auto Radio on Spotify showcases everything from the new wave of Vice City's Flash FM to the hip-hop classics of Grand Theft Auto 4's The Beat 102.7 all the way to the latest GTA Online updates and more dot 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 all in one convenient place. Tune in now at Spotify. All right, so just starting with what Rockstar said there, that to me is a huge teaser. They do mention Vice City and Flash FM. I do wonder if that radio station will be returning, but it's the way they phrase that last part. All the way to the latest GTA Online updates and more dot 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 like why would you add the dot 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 all in one convenient place to me this clearly means they're talking about grand theft auto 6. now one thing that a lot of people have been asking me is okay what does this grand theft auto radio mean well there's actually two versions there's been a lot of confusion here there is a personalized gta radio station that has songs from grand theft auto that are also tailored to what you typically listen to so if you listen to a lot of rock and roll you might get some guns and roses or some leonard skinner or twisted sister or even tom petty or brian adams but if you listen to something else you'll get other artists based on how they've appeared in Grand Theft Auto. And on top of that, there's also an official playlist for all the Grand Theft Auto songs. That one consists of 138 tracks. This one is not based on what your listening preference is. This is what Rockstar and Spotify have selected together in order to get you all the songs from the Grand Theft Auto series. And many people have been wondering, is the trailer song for Grand Theft Auto 6 in one of these songs. Now, I don't believe it's part of the personalized one because that's gonna vary from person to person, but I definitely can see Rockstar slipping in as sort of an Easter egg which song they might be using for the GTA 6 trailer. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of songs in here. Now, some of them you can kind of maybe scratch out as, okay, they're not gonna use that. And what I mean by that is maybe some of the songs that appear in Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't personally believe they would reuse a song that appeared so recently in that title, but if you guys do want to go through all the songs, it's about 9 hours and 30 minutes of listening, so basically if you've got a work day where you know you can listen to music, basically you can go through all the songs and you might just hear the one that's going to appear on the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. So I found that to be a kind of interesting teaser and it looks like it might even include sort of a secret Easter egg for the trailer song of Grand Theft Auto 6. And overall, it's just really cool to see Rockstar partnering with Spotify here. As I mentioned in a previous video, Rockstar actually has a parody of Spotify in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's a music identification system that was actually available for the cell phone in Grand Theft Auto 4 and became a music player for computers and mobile devices in GTA Online. And the player can also buy stocks from them at the boss sack in Grand Theft Auto 5 too. So it wouldn't be shocking at all if Rockstar utilizes this program in Grand Theft Auto 6 for more than just something that you see on vehicle liveries and t-shirts and applications that you see on computer screens. And even in Grand Theft Auto 4, there were ads that you would get on the radio for Zit and whatnot. It might be something that you could actually use as a music player. I know that's been one of the big quality of life updates that fans have been clamoring about for years now. We have things in game called cell phones, so why can't we just open the Zit app and then play one of the in-game radio stations while we're walking around or just doing what Ever. We don't need to be in a car or a vehicle in order to listen to the soundtrack of the game. That, to me, would be extremely cool. And speaking of being able to listen to the songs outside of vehicles, sort of going back to the Newswire, I really do hope that Vice City's Flash FM does return. I think that's something that Rockstar will definitely throw some references or Easter eggs to, keeping sort of the original radio stations or some of the original qualities of GTA Vice City. So in that game, it was a radio station that played contemporary pop music. It was hosted by Tony and Terry in 1984. 
but Tony became the sole DJ by 1986, which is when Grand Theft Auto Vice City takes place. It reflects really the general atmosphere of the 1980s. The radio station has also been featured in Grand Theft Auto Online for various t-shirts and hats. So Rockstar has made modern fans aware of the station. And DJ Tony also has a handful of references in Grand Theft Auto 5 too. She can be found on a billboard. She also has a star on the Vinewood Walk of Fame. So Rockstar has done a good job of sort of keeping that radio station up to date in modern times even though it technically isn't in GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online so it'd be very cool if they did bring that back I know that that was one of my favorite radio stations when I played Vice City back in the day and even going back to play the Definitive Edition just a few years ago. So I do hope that is something that they keep into the game as sort of a nice nod, reference, and Easter egg to the Miami of the past. And because I was curious, I actually went back and looked at the very first trailer for Grand Theft Auto V and what that song was. And if you remember, it actually was a song that was purely all instrumentals. So the trailers that released after for GTA 5 had songs with lyrics like Stevie Wonder's Skeleton and the Chain Gang of 1974's Sleepwalking. But the very first song is kind of an unknown one. It's actually Ogden's Nut Gone Flake from 1968. I'll try to leave a link to that in the description. It's a completely instrumental song released by an English rock band, Small Faces, like I said, all the way back in 1968. So it really could be a song that isn't on anyone's radar. So that's where I want to end the discussion for this video today. What song do you think Rockstar is going to use in the very first trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6? that we're gonna be getting in early December. And do you think it's a song that has recently been featured on the Spotify playlist for all the official Grand Theft Auto soundtrack songs? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Just keep in mind that whatever song you say, remember that Rockstar has to have that song licensed and it will appear in the game too. So I know people are gonna throw out really popular songs that might fit super well, like let's just say for example, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. But if Rockstar doesn't have the option opportunity to license that song, there's no way they're going to be able to use that. So just keep that in mind, but let me know what you think in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel from now until the release of the trailer and beyond. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.